Hi, I'm going to talk about letting go what you cannot control. But first, what is this? What is letting go what you cannot control? Letting go what you can't control means freeing yourself from something you don't have power of. It means letting something be. It means more joy, freedom, peace, space, and connection. Sometimes we think we can control everything, or we want to, but that's not it. So then, why it's it so hard to let things go? It's probably because or you're a perfectionist or because you have lack of trust. Josh Hall, a TEDx Fayette Bill, talks about the illusion of control. And I really like how he expresses that we always have a bubble around us. And everything outside the bubble is what we cannot control. And everything inside it is what we are able to manage. There are things like the weather, traffic, other people's minds or happiness, change, if there's enough toilet paper in the stores, if others follow their rules of social distancing, etc., that we cannot control. But the thing we can control is our attitude towards everything. So you can be more positive. Now, I'm going to give you some tips, some I pers personally like, and some others I learned when I was preparing for this talk. Number one, as I just said, stay positive. Because by doing this, you're going to be so much better. But I also know it's really hard. Because sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Number two, stay mindful. This will help you feel much more at peace. Number three, which I like to put with number four, take deep breaths and drink water when you feel stressed or anxious. Just do this and it will help you feel more relaxed. Number five, read a book you like, but a book you actually like. Because maybe you don't like the math books or English books, but maybe you like another book like a science fictional or etc. I am currently reading Harry Potter, the third one, and I really like when a character I can relate to does something exciting or fun. Number seven, listen to music. And if you want to, start dancing. It will help you feel more relaxed. Number eight, do exercise. This will not only help you feel less stressed, but it will also help you with your health. Number nine, set a goal for yourself. Set something you can achieve. Number 10, I don't really know why, but this does help. Imagine yourself climbing the steepest mountain there is. You're going to feel like you can control everything, and then once you're done imagining it, you can relax. Number 11, get up, put clothes on, and just go on with your life. You'll feel much more productive. I didn't like doing this at first, but then my sister and my mom told me to, so I had to. Number 12, write in post-its, a notebook, a page, wherever you can, a note or quote that you really like or that inspires you. A quote I like is, learn to let go. That is the key to happiness. And everyone wants a happy life. Another quote I like is, anything you cannot control is teaching you how to let go. Now, to conclude my TED Talk, I want to tell you why it's important to let go what you cannot control. You'll have less stress and more energy to focus on the things that truly matter. Your attitude towards everything. Thank you.